you a question? Of course. Okay, so like, if you had, if you had a 12-year-old daughter, right? What? So, do you have any kids? Yes, ma'am, I do. Okay. This, this is my daughter, Bree. Okay. Right. So, if you had like, if she was 12 years old, right? What? If, what if she was like 12 years old? Yes, ma'am. And she was raised, mm -hmm. would you make her risk her life giving birth to a baby? Because if Would I make young, her? I can't make another human being do anything right, unless I were to force her. To, would you want her to I would not her want her to murder her child. I would want her to love her baby. Right, but she could die giving birth to it. And then it's a it's a physical reminder every day of the emotional trauma that she went through getting raped, being pregnant. So, do, are you a Christian? Yes, ma'am. Okay, when the Lord says that children are a gift from the Lord, do you believe that? Yes, ma'am. Do you believe that He is the giver and taker of life? Yeah. Yes. So but if someone were to ever, God forbid, rape my daughter, God forbid, the crime of that man that he did to my daughter, the wrongdoing, it's the same. It, it, that would be my daughter becoming that man and doing that to her own child. Right, but the Bible also says the only sin is rejection of Jesus Christ. It doesn't say the only sin is, is rejection. The un, un, unforgivable sin, you mean? Or, yes, ma'am. Okay, it doesn't say, say that one more time. That they said, um, my mom works at a church and she tells me that. You know, the, the people are the church, you know that, right? The people are God, the, the church, the body of Christ. That's yeah. the church. When, okay, but she works at a, a like a building where they people come together and. Yes. So she said that in the Bible it says that the. Only What's your name, real quick? I'm sorry. My name's Emma. Emma Amanda. Okay. Okay. She said that the only unforgivable sin is rejection of Jesus Christ. So is she saying you can sin all you want and the only thing that's unforgivable, that it's okay to sin so that grace may abound? Because Paul said... Well, I mean, everyone sins in their life. Yes, yes they do. Yeah. yeah. So whenever Jesus said to repent, do you, do you know that there's a godly repentance that leads to life and there's a worldly repentance that leads to death? There's a godly grief that re leads to life and a worldly grief that re leads to death. Do you know a godly repentance that leads to life turns from their sin and trusts in Jesus Christ yeah. that, as Lord? So if Jesus Christ... Hey, Bray! Hey, Bray! Hey, come here! Come here. If Jesus Christ, she was making this scenario, she's concerned about someone getting raped, a young girl getting raped, and then risking their life to have a baby, and then for the baby to um, be rem a reminder of that horrible event. And I was reminding her that children are a gift from the Lord. So what I'm saying is if Jesus Christ, if this happened to, my, to her, if Jesus is Lord, and she has repented and put her faith in Jesus as Lord, that she, re godly repentance means she would turn from her own sinful desires, her own sinful ways, what the world calls right and wrong, and trust in the Lord's ways, and love her, it is my daughter. Why are you bringing your daughter into this? You're lying if you say I made it, because I made it. I, I'm trying to finish my conversation, okay. then I'll talk to you in a second. Okay. I'll be also, glad to. I, this is, I agree. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not forcing her to be out so here. Brainwashed. It's okay. I'm not finished. Can you let me finish? I'll let you finish. I'll okay. let you finish. Go ahead, um, so, so I, I couldn't force her to make any decisions. She right. could do. She could go behind my back. I, I would not give her my blessing, and I would remind her what the Lord says, and I would support her in love to love this baby as well. But I would have no part of if she were to want to murder that child. And I would trust that the child is a gift from the Lord. And um, I do know people that have chosen to have their babies, and it has healed them. I, I don't know anyone who, who didn't cho choose to have yeah, their baby. I, know, I would personally never have an abortion, but I don't feel like that just because that's what I think. I don't think other people should be taken away the right because it's like some people don't have the so money. People, and then the thing is, if they're if but, they're in the place, it's already it's like a really hard decision to to make. It's not just like they're like, oh, I want to kill my baby. Do you know why it's a hard decision to make? Do you know why? Yeah, because it's hard. No, do you know why? So certain decisions aren't hard to make, you know? Yeah. Uh, well, the Lord, He gives us a conscience of right, of right and wrong, okay? It's hard because we are convicted, and that's a gift to be convicted to know this is wrong, what we are about to do. And you have to make up every excuse in the book. And if you, if you think about it, you know, whenever we communicate, you know, it kind of brings to light your, the, your thought process, right? 
um, write down some of these thought processes this, that you're telling me because it, I don't know if y'all, you're having to go in school right now in a second, Yeah. but write them down and test them to God's word, you know. Okay. Um, the, the, it sounds like uh, there's a lot we have to talk about, but before you go, the repentance that leads to life and obedience to Jesus and, and loving Him and freedom from from sin, you know, uh, at freedom not just from the condemnation that you receive, but from the the uh, the power of sin. It has no power over you. You don't you don't have to live that way. He gives you His Spirit. He gives you a new heart. And if that were to happen to you, you know, in, yeah. instead of it being so troubling, you would say. I've received a gift out of this, and I don't understand, Lord, but you'll trust Him. Um, yeah, I understand. Yeah. That. I just, I just don't like. What about people who aren't Christian? Like, not mm-hmm. everyone has the same beliefs. I know they don't have the beliefs, but there is a tr- truth that does exist. Do you believe yeah. that? Yes, so, just because they said the the Earth wasn't flat, they the truth is it's round. There is a truth, so we should seek it. Well, if you believe that Jesus is the truth, what He says is, so you want to share that with others, okay? Think about it.